Okay, have you ever ordered something online? You're excited, you're ecstatic, and then what shows up at your door ends up being a piece of crap. Not literal crap, because that's just gross. But in terms of quality, severely disappointing. I have recently fallen victim to this myself. So I say no more crap. So today we're gonna be making our own industrial wall hanging for a mason jar. That's right. Mason jar wall hanging with two different backings. Why? Because one is just not enough. You deserve more. I deserve more. Let's do it. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around. My name is Audrey. I am the owner of Piping Hot Artworks, where we turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. And our channel primarily focuses on industrial home decor, but we also like decorations and DIY projects. Okay, first thing you wanna do is decide what size mason jar you're gonna use. Are you gonna be decorating it? Are you putting things in it? Why does this matter? Because it determines what size board you're going to need. I made my own distressed boards with uh, copper accents with patina in a previous video. I'll link that in the description below. So when it comes to hooks, I went to my local hardware store, Home Depot. I didn't really find anything that I was looking for that was more vintage or industrial. So I went to Hobby Lobby and Jackpot. Definitely check out, check out your uh, home decorating stores. Next, you're gonna prepare your jars. And you will see in the first clip, I made a huge mistake by wrapping the twine around the mason jars initially, then trying to create a hook for it. Don't do that. Instead, create the hook first by measuring it to your board to figure out how much leeway you need. Then go ahead and take double-sided tape and glue from a glue gun and lightly press your twine all around your mason jar. This effect was a lot easier and ended up looking better in the end. So for our first design, we have to create the rest of the board. So you have to measure out how far down on the board you want your mason jar to be before you start drilling your holes. So as you can see, you measure both vertically and horizontally. Then we always like to use painter's tape or masking tape to mark where you're actually going to be drilling your hole. Make sure that the measurements match up. And you can use a regular hand drill for this, or you can use a drill press, which we will show later on. So we drilled the hole through the board. That way we could attach our hook. And for the first design, we are using a sawtooth hanger on the back. So this way it hangs directly onto the wall. You're gonna drill your holes using a smaller drill bit and then just use a Phillips screwdriver to lightly screw in the screws. Then you can attach your hook. So there's a piece in the back and a piece in the front and you just kind of screw them together. Super easy. And that's what it looks like on the back. Now we're going to start the second design which has a different backing. This one requires dowel rods. D-O-W-E-L. I always called them dolly rods, but apparently that's not their name. So you want to measure out um, how wide they need to be on the back of your board. And the reason why I like this style is because you can hide any devices or wires. So I plan on putting pixie lights inside of my jars, and I want to hide the USB power pack behind it on one of them. So you can use a regular hand saw and just um, secure it on a table like we did and lightly saw it down to the desired size. Then you're just going to use the sanding block, get those stray scraggly pieces off of the ends so that it's smooth, and then you're ready to try and attach it to your board. But first, we actually measured out where you're going to be drilling your holes to. So obviously you want to make it as secure as possible. So coming up with a screw or a nail on each side would make it more secure. So after measuring it out, you can go ahead and either use a drill press like this or a hand drill and lightly drill your holes so that your nails or your screws can go directly through the dowel rod into the actual board underneath. So here is a drill press. 
it saves a lot of time. It's awesome sauce. And I think anybody who comes to a garage sale of mine tries to buy it. It's probably like from the 1960s, but it's hardcore cool. Next, here are the nails that we used, the size. So they go straight into the board after drilling the hole. And then we took um, a smaller metal piece because we want to kind of hammer it in even further so it's not just flush with the wood, it goes a little bit into the wood. And now it's actually the perfect size. I painted the dowel rods so they matched the back and here's the back of the first design. And that's that from the side. Okay, so this is our second design listed here. You can tell because it has a different hook on it. You've got the rope on the top. Here's our first, both of them with plain jars, nothing in them. Then I used TJAG Tech's Pixie Lights and USB stick, put it inside, and I am officially ready for Halloween. Christmas and V-Day, Valentine's Day. So I am super psyched. Okay, industrial mason jar wall hanging complete. And it is some quality crap. Something that I can stand behind. <laughs> but anyways, I had a lot of fun doing this. I had a lot of fun shopping for it and a lot of fun DIYing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, Hit like if you found any value, or if you've got a comment, a question, criticism, go ahead and put it in the comments. And if you guys are interested in more DIY projects just like this or industrial home decor, make sure that you hit subscribe and notify and stay tuned.